G'day, g'day. This is Cece from Generation Wellness Global. And um, yeah, I did have to change the name to Global because I started seeing clients in the States and um, the UK and all over the place. Um, and yeah, it's been an interesting progression. I have to say the time zone with the UK is a little bit more challenging, but the US is pretty straightforward. So if you need, if you need a session, it can be arranged by Zoom. Um, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the science underneath juice fasting and how it can be really beneficial. I am not an expert on juice fasting, uh, but I highly recommend if you want to look more into healing with fruit and herbs, Dr. Robert Morse in the States, um, his website is Raw Figs and he has a lot of information. He, he talks about um he talks about uh, like he goes through individual client questions and um has a lot a lot of videos so be sure to check him out but essentially the premise is that we are all because of our lifestyles our diets our you know the chemicals and in, environmental pollutions around us and all the things we have very sluggish lymphatics collectively like most people will have sluggish lymphatics we will all have acidosis and build up in the body um, so basically we become acidic which is not health promoting and so if you have um, arthritic joints that's that's acidosis and inflammation in your joints you know and it expresses in many different ways but most modern illness underneath is inflammation and acidosis and so Anything we can do to help alkalize the body and get the lymphatics flowing so that we can actually flush toxins out of our body so that we're not just kind of shunting them around or storing them somewhere. Um, so that's a little bit about why it's important to, to just cleanse and alkalize and detox. And juice fasting is one way to support the body to do a little bit of that. And um, Part of the, the premise of juice fasting is we have two different kinds of enzymes essentially in the body. Um, we have digestive enzymes, which obviously help break down food and digest. And we have metabolic enzymes, which are kind of everything else. They help with mood balance and hormone balance and sleep and all the other essential fun functions. And what happens is if we don't have enough digestive enzymes, we recruit metabolic enzymes into that digestive process which is what most people are doing uh, because we have diets that are more heavy, um, you know, like richer foods, uh, heavier foods, lots of protein. Uh, these all take a lot of digestive enzymes to break down. And so when you're recruiting metabolic enzymes, you're taking those enzymes away from other essential functions like keeping everything else in balance, um, sleep, and also healing. Healing processes kind of have to stop if you just can't digest your food. <laughs> so um, what happens with, uh, with something like a juice fast is you're taking all of the pressure off the digestive system. You're having something that's so easy to digest, really simple sugars. So the brain's getting exactly what it needs because the brain works on sugar. Um, glucose specifically and you're getting those really simple sugars really easy digestible format and when it's coming from fresh fruit you're getting all the vitamins and nutrients that that come along with that as well it's not just like drinking a sugar drink it's completely different because the fiber slows down the sugar absorption you've got all the other vitamins and minerals and coenzymes and other things that come in so don't think that I'm advocating for like sugar is okay because it's completely worlds apart what fruit sugars do in the body and what sugar processed sugar does in the body so completely separate worlds okay <laughs> let's just be really clear about that um but what you're doing by having just really simple easy to digest foods like fruit is you're going to allow all of that um those metabolic enzymes and all of your energy to go into healing processes and making sure everything else is balanced. 
And it's a really amazing journey to go through that because the body decides what is more essential to heal first. And so you kind of go, oh, I want to heal this. And then something else happens and you go, oh, I forgot that I even had that. But now that that's better, hopefully my body's going to heal this because that was my original target. And um, But the body knows what's most essential. And so we'll put the energy there first. But it's really amazing how, um, you know, the body has all these redundancies built in. That's how we survive. That's how we, um, you know, that we can recruit metabolic enzymes if we need to. But it's not ideal. If you have healing to do, you need all of those resources, all of those enzymes and the energy in healing processes and not in just digesting whatever you just ate too much of at dinner or Christmas party or whatever um so you know and I'm not saying that um we can't enjoy food but we need to also understand the impact on the body and how um how our body might respond if we're doing that all the time so juice fasting and turning to like fruit and herbs and things that are really light and easy to digest and full of life force and goodness. Um, it just helps the body have more time, energy, resources to put into other processes like healing. So that's, you know, and you can start really small. You can just, um, I highly recommend if you are anywhere where you can get fresh watermelon um, to blend up watermelon and start the day with watermelon juice because it's also incredibly hydrating really amazing way to start the day Uh, my kids prefer to eat watermelon rather than juice it but um it's so good and actually quite filling to have a cup of watermelon juice and then you don't need anything for a little while and your cells are meanwhile being really hydrated your body's being nourished but you've kept it really really light and this is not Um, I've got a friend who's a naturopath who's incredible and she talks a lot about the seasons and this is not something that you do um, in the wrong season for your body and your time but if you are in a place where you're you, you feel like it's a good time for you to do a bit of detoxing and a bit of healing it's I think it's a really really beautiful nourishing way to do it like you feel so good just having like fresh, good, whole food. Um, And, you know, it doesn't have to be juice either. Like some people do juice fast and it's all about juices. Um, I prefer to talk about fruit and herbs. And um, so, you know, I'll have my watermelon juice, but then when I do get hungry and for you, if you're you're coming off real real food and going into fruit, you're going to get hungry really quickly, but that's okay. Like, because you're digesting um, really quickly when it's something fruit it's so simple and easy for the body to digest it happens really quickly uh so then you know half an hour an hour later you might have like a mandarin or a mango or something else and um you can eat lots of fruit and if you need something i usually later in the day if you really need to ground you know avocado is still fruit and it's full of goodness and it just gives you something that's a little bit heavier I don't do it early in the day because I want to keep that digestive system really clear um, and moving. So you want to think about the order of things. You know, you don't want to have avocado and then have watermelon because the watermelon is going to sit behind and watermelon so easily digested. It wants to just go straight through or it can sit and kind of go nasty in your stomach. So you want to have that first and, and allow it to go through and really nourish and hydrate everything it's really beautiful um i also love to put a drop of essential oil in my juice in the morning grapefruit or tangerine really really powerful support for glutathione which is um one of your major detox enzymes in the liver so really awesome way to just extra support for the body to just do those healing processes and Um, so yeah, I, I think because a lot of people talk about buzzwords like juicing and, you know, and I'm not a diet person, I'm not a fad person, but for me, this really comes back to real food, you know, like we, 
we can function really well on really good, clean, whole food. And um, fruit is like the most natural, easy, it's ready on the tree and you pick it and you eat it. And so it's, it's, it's just amazing. Um, so I'm not, yeah, I'm not a big advocate for like trying this diet or that diet or anything like that. But this is a really beautiful way to just support the body to have a bit of a cleanse, re-alkalize. You can also support through, um, you know, if you are sort of doing this as a bit of a detox, um, have clay baths with some bicarb in it. So the bicarb's helping absorb and alkalize the body. The clay is um, helping to detox and draw out toxins. So you can support with other things. And like I said, there's oils to help support detox and um, happy to step anyone through who needs some help with what that might look like for them so please reach out get in touch if you'd like to talk about it check out dr robert moss he has loads of videos on youtube and um enjoy enjoy a piece of fruit because it should be enjoyed it is beautiful it is full of life force and nutrients and goodness and it is the food that god intended for us um so Please enjoy. Don't feel, don't feel bad about eating beautiful, healthy, nourishing fruit. I think the whole sugar thing has really kind of given it a bad name. But like I said, it's worlds apart from sugar processed stuff um, that's hidden in everything. <laughs> so if you go back to the real food, it's not hidden. It's just so, um, yeah really really nourishing and hydrating and that's and alkalizing and that's where we want our bodies to be so that our body can then get back into the natural heal, healing processes that it's designed for so i just wanted to share because you know you don't know until you someone explains sometimes why why these things might be a good idea um there's lots of other diets out there that you know and i don't i don't i don't consider it a diet i consider it like a supporting the body to detox and heal and I consider a real food so <laughs> so maybe it's all about perspective but um I just thought I'd share I hope that helps and if you have any questions at all please reach out I'd love to chat to you <laughs>